each coral is actually made up of an entire colony of tiny animals called coral polyps. And like all animals, they eat. Here, a polyp captures its prey. Similar to the sting of its relative, the jellyfish, the coral harpoons its meal with microscopic hooks released from its tentacle. The polyp then draws the copepod into its mouth to digest. These meals provide an important source of energy, but most of the coral's energy comes from someplace very different. We need to look more closely to find it. The inner layers of the polyp's tissue provide a home to algae called zooxanthellae. These algae give the coral its color, and more importantly, they harness light from the sun through a process known as photosynthesis. The algae that live inside the coral convert sunlight into energy-rich sugars and amino acids. Corals absorb up to 90% of that fuel. In exchange, the algae depend on waste from the polyps as a source of nutrients. This efficient recycling allows corals to thrive in tropical waters, where intense competition can make nutrients hard to come by. <laughs>